What door are we going out today, T-Rex? I think it's over here. We're just on a magical mystery tour this week, aren't we? It's Monday, June 19th, and I see a door. Let's see if it opens. Yes, it does. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. Oh, kind of tangled up. Where are we, T-Rex? Wow. Gorgeous. Uh, this is uh, the estate formerly known as the Brant Point Inn, now called the Salt Box, on North Beach Street, Nantucket Island. This is our second morning here. <laughs> the weather has changed every minute. I'd like to keep this for a while, uh, but what we're in is an atmosphere of percolation. Uh, the sunshine causes the land to heat up and that percolates uh, instability clouds and a scattered shower. Most of us are gonna have a fine day with a mixture of sun and clouds and temperature in the 60s near the water, but 75 to 80, well away from the water, Connecticut River Valley, just like yesterday. But we're still on the backside of that upper level low. So today is day 17 of the last 18 with at least a little bit of rain somewhere in New England. If you look at the rainfall total since June 1st in the Boston area, uh, Metro Northwest passing five inches. Where are you, Sparrow? You can't be the same Sparrow from Weymouth, can you? <laughs> Want to go for a little adventure, T-Rex? See what's over here? The gardens are really beautiful down here. I'll show you some more on the gardens in a few minutes. And uh, a lot of people here already. <laughs> it's the early summer or late shoulder season, but... Uh, it's a year-round. Cape Cod and the Islands is now year-round destination, that's for sure. Morning. Morning. And then we have uh, a live audience. I'm trying to find a place where I'm not going to make too much noise. And T-Rex, here's that miserable Japanese knotweed. You really cannot beat it. Uh, <laughs> you have to beat it to get rid of it. And then there's your uh, typical more Nantuckety privet. So there's uh, you know plenty of work to do everywhere, every day. And it should be a good day for it today. Most of us are are dry and the forecast is for maybe a few dry days coming in here. Uh, let's look at the surface map. Just a few scattered showers today and then tomorrow you finally see some high pressure building. A high barometer chill usually means kind of chilly in the morning and then nice in the afternoon. And as the barometer goes up, uh, the temperature should climb up, but near the ocean, there's still gonna be a sea breeze. Notice the uh, high pressure is kind of offshore, but then it gets south of us and then finally by Thursday and Friday, uh, now we're talking about temperatures uh, back into the 80s in the Boston area. And as for that weekend front, sure enough, uh, if you get a beautiful Wednesday, often your Saturday is going downhill, and that is the case. It looks like a front is only going to gradually ease in here over the weekend with temperatures falling back uh, away from the coast, back into the, I mean, away from the coast will still be in the 80s, but near the shore will be in the 60s by the weekend, it looks like, with a uh, chance of showers and it's not quite as pronounced of rainfall coming in on looks like Saturday afternoon, Sunday, Monday as it was before, but still it is going to rain and you want to look at that QPF, the uh, 10 day altogether, how much rain is falling. I guess the best news is Alberta, Canada, where some of the worst fires in North America are burning, gets the most rain and elevation snow too. And that's going to uh, uh, diminish as it comes east, but we're still looking at potential for inches of rain here. Uh, to close out June, southeastern United States gets the most in the lower 48. And if you see it reflected in the Boston 14-day forecast from weather.us with the rain coming back off and on, not as bad as it looks there, but off and on uh, starting Saturday or so and maybe continuing into uh, the last days of June. So the summer solstice is this week, a couple of heating degree days possible. So this is called the Salt House Heating Degree Day. That's when the uh, mean temperature stays below 65 for the day. We're gonna have a couple of those coming in uh, next two days, but then it starts to warm up again. Let's go across the street, Rex. Can we do this? Get a perspective. Uh, so this is called the Salt Box this year. Salt House, excuse me. And then it's gonna be called the Brant. And uh, fractionals are available there. So we're checking those out. And it's right across the street from one of my favorite news sources, N Magazine and the Nantucket Current. Uh, this comes into your mailbox every morning if you sign up for it. Well, not every morning, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this morning uh, featured the uh, Nantucket High School 
graduation that they had to uh, move up because of the weather. Uh, they had to have the graduation on Friday instead of Saturday because of the forecast. And I was wondering when all the blue stuff was on the ground, and it was that confetti. So uh, these young people were freshmen when the pandem pandemic hit. Uh, so the first high school graduates from the pandemic made it through. Uh, I think we're, say, 123 graduates, the uh, biggest class ever to graduate in Nantucket High School. So congratulations to all of you, and thank you for hosting us here with this beautiful day today. I'll be here tomorrow morning, too. So I'll leave you with some. <laughs> the gardens around here are spectacular, and I don't know what they're putting in them, and I don't know what they put in that ice cream at the juice box. It must be some special juice because people just flock. <laughs> Did you get some of that ice cream yet? Are you in line yet? Get in line early. I don't know what time it opens. Talk to you later. Right across the street from the Whaling Museum, apparently there is an ice cream store that is really, really good. How good is this ice cream store? Oh, it's about this good. That's why I'm... Seriously. How are the plants down here so far advanced beyond ours around Boston? I really don't get it. What do you feed your plants down here? Even the ornamental grasses. About five different kinds of weather today. Those trees need help though, don't they? Asta on steroids? Yeah, sure, why not? Unidentified beautiful plant coming out of a hydrangea adjacent to some iris yet to bloom and peony. Oh, we love the peony. Why did the peony have to go by so fast? It's so sad. Yeah. All right, tomorrow's question is, why do people tie up old daffodil greens? We'll find out that question tomorrow. Goodbye, Iris. Every kind of vehicle. Classic. Remember when Japan made small trucks? <laughs> Still on the road though. It's a lot of work, don't you think? Taking the old daffodils, folding the greens and tying them up. Yay or nay? What is the logic? <laughs>